Hi, I'm Haley, and I will be showing you how to make a yarn design yarn design on your walls, or you can put it anywhere else. I want to do it on my wall because my walls are like covered, so might as well take my other wall and cover it. So what you need is obviously lots of yarn. You will need three of these hooks that screw into your walls and scissors. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to screw your hooks in. So I'm going to screw one of my hooks right here. I'm going to make that design where it goes and it droops down and up and then droops down again. My wall is very tough and it does not screw in all the way. So, and you want to leave the hook up like that. And you're going to do that with the two other ones. So now you can see my hooks, kind of. I have one here, one here, and one here. You can see this more because it's more to the camera. Next, you want to measure out your yarn. So I'm going to take as probably as much as I need. And now I'm going to measure it. How I measure it is by looping it around, not tying it. And then looping it again. And then again. So I bet that's where I want it. And when you're at the end of your of your um, piece, you want to cut off a little so you have enough room to tie it. So I'm going to keep my hand where it is and take the string off. I've already cut my string. And it's all the right length. So now I'm just going to tie it on there. You want to make sure you triple knot it. So it does not fall off. You need to triple knot it also because if you hang something heavy on it, you want to make sure that I want to make sure um, you want to make sure it's just more sturdy. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to reset my... And y some of you noticed that this one I didn't tie because sometimes I'll like to move this down. Like down or like maybe here. Or here. <laughs> but yeah, and I can also reverse it like that down a little. Now what you want to do is you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut the extra ends off. So it's not noticeable.
there we go. So there we have it. We have my droopy ribbon. And I kind of noticed that I want that a little. So I'm going to switch this hook to maybe here or right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to put this one right here. So it's more even. I'm going to put it here for now. And I'll be right back because i got to get something to make a hole for it. Okay, so I've got a tack. That's what I got connected for this hook when I was here before. So what uh, where I want it is I'm just going to put the tack in and then move it in a circular motion so the thing fits just right. Okay, now I'm going to move this to a better place. First I need to take the ribbon off. And then I'm just going to screw it and then we put the uh, Rip it on. If I can find the hole. Here we go. Now I have it. And now you can put, you can reverse it. I like it like this because it's just right. So I hope you enjoyed. And that's how you make a yarn design for your wall or your window maybe or your door um make sure younger kids you ask your pants for help and you can basically hang anything on it so thanks for watching bye